Hello, this is Corey with Frostyfly. Just wanted to share a pattern with you today that I've thought up using some of the Hemingway's realistic fly tying materials. I've dubbed this fly the Skittering Caddis. Uh, in my time fishing, and anyone who spends a, a fair bit amount of time on the water, uh, when you watch Caddis, their action is kind of skittering on the water, dapping up and down, back and forth, uh, in a very erratic p movement. And when they do this, you know, I can just imagine underneath the water seeing all of it, its appendages and legs skidding around on the top of the water. So with this pattern, I'm using the Hemingway's uh, realistic materials to make things easier in tying, but I'm incorporating some natural materials <clears throat> just to give a bit more movement. So we'll get started here. In the vise, I have the Amaruto size 12 dry fly hook, D31SSC. And then the first thing we need to do is get our tube body caddis. So these are preformed tubes, hollow in the middle. They come in different colors and sizes. These are, I believe, small and light orange. Well, it says light orange. Looks like more of a gray or kind of a tan color. So the first thing we're going to do is size it up on the hook. So we want it just past the bend, and then we want it probably to stop right about there. So I'm going to take my scissors, and cut off the material. Then we're going to take the hook out of the vise, and as I said, these are hollow. So you push it through the middle, trying to be careful not to have it pop out. And not to stick yourself. So then, that's what we're after right there. So for tying thread, I'm using six aught Danvilles in a it's like an olive color and waxed. So we're going to start our thread at the front. We're going to push our two back and go back probably about halfway into the hook and then just build a tiny bit of thread there. I found if you don't secure the tube, it has a tendency to want to flip around. So what I've done to combat this is just a t touch of super glue on the thread wraps there. Push the two back up. and then secure it. So you secure the head just a bit back. So the next material material we're going to need is CDC. So I've got CDC here in gray. I'm going to find two similar feathers. roughly line up the tips, then I'm going to grab the whole bunch, preen it back, let's try that again, preen it back so that our feathers are collected, we're going to size it up on the hook so it's either just at or ju just past the tube body. And secure it in and then you're gonna pull each individual feather one to one side one to the other side clip off the extra so my thought being having that in the water as you're kind of waking and giving movement to the dry fly or dead drifting it uh, will just give the appearance of, of legs so we're going to get some deer, coastal deer hair, and cut off a little clump. We're going to strip out the fuzzy bits and the smaller fibers. Place it in our hair stacker. To arrange the tips. 
So you want to tie it in like an L. caracatus. Same thing, just slightly before the end of the tube on this side. Clip that off. Make sure everything's sitting right. So we're going to bring our thread forward. So then we're going to use some preformed caddis wings from Hemingway. So they come on a sheet like this, different sizes, different colors. These are the medium and cinnamon. And then you just kind of roll the sheet. And then it breaks away from the perforations and the score lines. They come off fairly easy. So we're going to find this side and we're going to fold the wing in half, trying our best to keep things even. So then you get that profile and we're going to lay that right on the top. If your tab's too long, you can clean that up a bit. So I like to tie it in just at the eye of the hook and then I go back a little bit just to secure it and then make sure it's sitting right. So at this point, you could just put a bit, a little bit of dubbing on the head just for, I guess, appearance and kind of to put a little something there. So from underneath, it looks like a bit of, of uh, the body. Um, what I like to do just, just for fun and to make the fly look better is get two uh, small fibers of the deer hair and tie them in at the front kind of as the antennae doesn't need to be perfect Okay, so now we're going to take a very small pinch of Hair's Ear, Hair's Dubbing Plus UV. I'm going to go with kind of the light, very light tan color. Pull a tiny bit out. And then we'll use that just to build a bit of the body there. Hit finish. Clip off. Just arrange our antenna here a little better. As I said, this is more just more for the fisherman than the fish, I think. But it might impart a little bit of movement or disturbance in the surface as well. So there you have it. You can put a little bit of uh, dry fly floating if you wanted uh, on the CDC or the deer in the back. But uh, I think it should be, should be an effective pattern. Um, as I said, the CDC on top of the water will create a disturbance. It might give the illusion of the of uh, the legs and appendages. It might give the illusion of the wings skittering. But uh, I guess spring will tell how effective it is.
Thanks for watching. If you want to tie a few up and maybe give me your feedback, let me know how they work for you. And good luck on the water. Tight lines.